What's up, guys? Welcome to episode 33 of Caleb's Collecting Corner. Today, I'm going to be doing a review of a couple prototypes. They're from the movie Congo. They are a couple of the apes. They are repaint versions of the produced figures. These figures look a lot more like the ones that were in the movie. I believe the reason that they made the apes that they produced, the colors they did, was just to be more marketable towards kids. These look a lot scarier and more true to the movie. And I'll go ahead and post a couple pictures in a second here of what the apes look like in the movie. And then I'll show you the produced figures and the unproduced versions right here that I believe were going to be produced later on because these are just actually full figures just repainted uh, in gray. And I got these from a former employee of Kenner. And so I know they are legit, but let's go ahead and check out this review. All right, so these are the produced versions. This is the blast face that I think looks like the first picture I posted. And as you can see, he doesn't look much like it. He's got green, he's got gray, but just doesn't resemble it too, too much. And then this is the mangler that was produced. And he's black with some tan on him. And I will show you the comparison to the unproduced ones now. All right, this is the blast face. And as you can see, the paintwork is just beautiful on this figure. Definitely looks a lot scarier and a lot more true to the one that was uh, in the first picture I had shown. He's got some black spots there. He's all gray. Great shadowing there on the figure between the hair. We'll go and flip him over here. He's just got that white dusted look. He looks awesome. All right, this is the Mangler Ape. He has a little bit more like of gray shadowing on him. And if you look at his face, he just looks awesome there. He looks really evil and just amazing. And his, uh, his left arm, for some reason, they didn't paint, but I could care less. I'm just really happy to have the figure. He's got some green shadowing there on his fur. Let's go ahead and get a better look at that face. Just looks awesome. Such a sweet figure. I wish these were produced like this. All right, guys, so that was my review of the unproduced Congo Apes. I am super happy to own these. I actually own a few other Congo prototypes, a couple hard copies that were produced, also a first shot of one of the figures, of the human figures from the movie, and I also own the third evil ape from the original set that was supposed to be released, but never made it. I have a painted copy and an unpainted copy I will be reviewing later on on the channel. So... Like this video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys next time on Caleb's Collecting Corner.